What do you think the world would be like if Pangaea still existed? Ocean travel in boats would be vastly different. According to a recent article, Pangaea will reform in a few billion years. So let's just wait and see. Flat earthers would probably have a better case. Big ass hot dry spot in the middle, the oceans would be a hell of a lot creepier. Maybe more advanced because there would be less need for complex travel and therefore civilizations would be in contact earlier. But just as fucked up because people without rivers, lakes, or bodies of water for easier transport of goods, the inland parts of the world would be deserted and not be an attractive place to live. I'd like to think it would be less divided. Navies would be less important. Armies would be bigger, and countries would be huge. A lot more war. Definitely a clusterfuck, or if you prefer, a shit show. We would probably have more COVID in Australia. Young. It would be coastal people vs the landlocked scrubs. More people would understand what it's like driving across Texas. It's called Australia. We'd probably have less but larger countries and a lot more land borders, landlocked countries. International travel would be quicker. Midwestern Americans would be driving to Asia for vacation, saying, it's not that far. It would be very large and all connected. Constant wars over few inches of land between countries. Wait, oh no. Indians would not be called Indians because Columbus would have not confused America with India. A alternate history hub did a video https colon slash 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 eve der 6 j 3 r Really dry in the middle. We all would be British. Of course, people would have more in common with each other. Lemurs would be a dominant species because they never got split up. I would hate it since I can't go to the beach if I live flat center of Pangaea. We'd probably all live on the coast and travel by land ships and short-ranged boats. Oceanfront property would be even more expensive with so much less of it. Languages would either be all the same or similar variants. One thing that comes to mind would be if we did have Pangaea, if the world would be under one rule. Or would it be much like Africa have little, for a lack of a better term, little nations? It would most likely be a world without most of the species living today. Less ethnicities. People would invest heavily in achievements like longest road. Illegal immigration would be much easier. A whole lot of nothing going on in the middle because it would be a huge desert. Probably a lot less habitable land for people overall. Terrible. Pangaea was mostly desert. It's a lot like a scaled up Australia so the amount of farmable land drops significantly as does the amount of fresh water. 
without oceans and separate continents, keeping humanity in separate groups long enough to evolve into distinct races. Maybe we'd all look the same. There would most certainly be much less war, and I believe folks would be more united globally. Fucking horrible imagine being able to go anywhere so easily the world would just like be destroyed. Already which come to think of it Pangea doesn't sound too bad. Well for one thing war and war devices would be quite different. wouldn't be around since they'd have killed all each other. The US, Canada, and every country in South America would probably not exist picture all the ripple effects that would cause. Weird. Hot as fuck. No Native Americans genocide. Planes would not exist, and most people worldwide would be similar. Full of dinosaurs. It still does. We're just taking some time apart right now. It would feel bigger. I doubt racism would exist. Connected. No humans. Possibly not as much investment in air travel since we wouldn't need it as badly if there were no oceans, maybe making climate change or less of a thing. Or authoritarian one government nightmare. I think that it would be nice because think of all the money saved on airplane trips. It would be a lot hotter, like 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably was because every main country would be wanting to expand their borders. More war, less animals. A more visibly perpetual war. What is Pangaea? Literally never heard of it. Someone comment and tell me please. More wars. It would be one big continent. No racism. Far more wars. FMA but without alchemy. It would be badass. Ocean travel and boating are two vastly different activities. Parties all day every day. Insufficient water flow causing stagnant water which nearly caused one extinction event so there would definitely be an extinction event. Football would be an even more amazing sport. I feel like we would have less exotic animals with ease of migration places like Australia with all their crazy animals wouldn't exist. We'd all be closer together. Also, much less biological diversity. We'd probably be one giant country, maybe France. Different climates. Sure, there might be some diversity, but that's mostly based on location and wind patterns. Such an interesting question. I think cultural differences while still present would be less distinctive. Take for example those very isolated tribes from the Amazons. Columbus would have found India. Honestly, fucked. Otherwise Genghis Khan would complete his conquest. More absolutely truly epic road trips. 
It would also be like a supersized Australia. Neat around the edges. Terrifying and deadly in the middle. That bitch would know about Pangaea. We would have a cross-continental train that would connect large areas of the world. The world would be much more diverse as land doesn't discourage immigration like water does. It would be Pangaea. I could get my package on ducking time. Different country borders. People wouldn't know to stand at the bow of a boat and pretend to fly like in Titanic. Either a whole more or virtually no marsupials. Trains. One big ass ocean. Time zones will definitely get weird in some form. I've played enough Final Fantasy to know that it'd either be just about the same or worse. Me driving to Amsterdam. We probably wouldn't exist because of the difference in ecosystem. All the continents would still be one big landmass. No Brexit. Seafood would probably seem more exotic since fewer parts of the world are coastal. Then again, most humans are concentrated near coasts already so that wouldn't change. Russia would probably take the entire damn place. Easier to drive around on. Life on Earth would be much more homogenous as there wouldn't have been as many evolutionary nooks and crannies. Countries like Great Britain wouldn't have become so powerful. Colonies wouldn't exist, at least one big power of the size of Russia would exist. It would be a free-for-all lull. Faster cars. It's theorized that Stonehenge sits at the exact center of the Earth's landmass when Pangaea was. Just like Giza is the center of the Earth's landmass today. Probably a lot less biodiversity. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.